I just got a question from someone this morning. And the question is, do you think intermittent fasting is safe while you're breastfeeding? And I thought I would use that as an opportunity to do a quick video on this topic because it's really hard to give relevant information um, for someone that I don't know and I don't know the situation or the context of it. Um, however, there's a lot that could be unpacked in this question. And the first thing is, is that why is the breastfeeding mother wanting to do intermittent fasting? So um, if the, the reason is to do something that's going to actually like increase her level of health, like say, for example, if she has poor digestion and she needs to give her body a break, it's going to be a good idea to eat in a shorter eating window, let her body um, heal and uh, let the inflammation go down that's maybe happening in her gut, uh, but as a temporary strategy for the intention for health. But if it's being done to lose weight, that's another whole entire story. And the reason that that's a concern is that if somebody is doing that, they're likely going to be doing that until they get to their ideal weight. And unfortunately, what the intention behind that is, is to eat less calories, right? Um, that's not going to be a good idea when you are breastfeeding or not, because if you don't get enough calories, of food, then you are going to go into starvation mode. Your body is going to think that it is uh, a famine out there. And so it's going to slow down your metabolism to compensate for that. And if you are not eating enough food, then you're not getting enough nutrition. So if you're not getting enough nutrition when you're breastfeeding, your body is going to prioritize that baby and you're going to become really nutritionally deficient. So that means your body will literally give up its stores to give the baby the nutrition. That's also what happens in pregnancy when a mother's not well nourished. So the intention behind why the mother is choosing to do intermittent fasting makes a huge difference. It also matters what the, her definition of intermittent fasting is, right? There's so many different styles of intermittent fasting. Now, I would say this type of so-called intermittent fasting that I'm going to share with you is probably a good idea for everyone. Um, and it wouldn't matter if you are pregnant or breastfeeding or in, you know, in any scenario, um, is that you would only eat during the time period of the day when the sun is out. So for example, you would have three meals a day, but you would have the, stop eating them when the sun goes down. So it's not about restricting calories. It's about the timing of eating and giving your body that break between, say, let the sun goes down at four, that you're going to not eat again until the next morning. This is not going to be done to lose weight, to reduce calories. It's done to give your digestion a break. So that your body can go into healing mode and then that's a win-win situation right because you've triggered the the healing response by not making your body be forced to deal with digesting food all the time so it can go and do other things um, and you're not restricting the amount of food you eat so you would eat till you're full um and eat well all day of the most nourishing foods nutrient dense foods not low fat foods or, um, you know, trying to eat less to lose weight. So that would be my answer for someone who um, is interested in intermittent fasting, that your intention to do this should be to improve your health, to improve your digestion, improve your, which will improve your energy, which will improve your vitality, which means your body can go into healing mode. Um, and then now at the end of that, the beauty of this is, is that once a person is into balance, including a mother who has just had a baby and is breastfeeding, once her body is fully nourished and not depleted feel, it's going to actually release that extra body fat. But if she's in a state of depletion, it's just going to make that worse. Um, and that's going to damage the metabolism and make it harder for her to lose weight in the future. So the best thing is to actually nourish your body into an optimal state of health. And then weight loss just happens as a natural side effect of that because, it, and it's a good side effect 
because your body no longer needs to hold on to that fat. It doesn't think it's in starvation mode anymore. So um, yeah, restricting calories and under eating um, and trying to force fat off your body um, in these ways of like depriving yourself and exercising excessively, that always backfires and it never lasts. Um, so if you're having a hard time releasing weight after having a baby, it's probably more that you're not nourishing yourself optimally. And so your body is in a holding pattern um, because it believes that it's unsafe. And it is. If you're not getting enough nutrition, that's not safe for you. Um, and also there's a lot of chronic stress that occurs in uh, after having babies, right? Like the whole experience of building a baby, birthing a baby, and the nursing a baby puts a lot of stress on the mother's body. And if she is going to eat less nutrition while going through that by doing um, inappropriate types of fasting and in even intermittent fasting, which is not nearly as extreme, but there's so many different, you know, um, variations of that, that you just have to be careful about the reason why you're doing it. And it can make things worse. The excess stress that's chronic that um, mothers often go through, especially in this society where they are um, basically left to look after the baby by themselves. There's no community supporting them. They're often not even fed properly. This is why they won't, their body won't release the weight. They're, they're not even getting nutrition that they would need um, optimally for them and their baby. Um, so it's the, the opposite reason uh, that they are holding on to fat. It's not that they're eating too much or they're, it's because they're not eating enough. And so it's about eating the right quality of food, the right nutrient density food to give your body the nourishment it needs. So your, your nutrition stores are completely full and then your body can relax. And then hopefully your community comes um, and connects with you. So you don't feel lonely and um, overwhelmed with motherhood. And then your body can relax into motherhood and into being fully satiated and nourished. And then your body will release the weight without you having to try it all. So if you know a mother who's uh, just had a baby, um, you can really help by just making her a, a healthy whole foods, nutrient dense meal um, and just being a support. And yeah, don't forget about those mothers after they have their babies, they're often feeling really alienated and alone. Um, while well, the rest of society goes on. So there we have it. That's my thoughts on intermittent fasting for pregnancy. Bye for now.